I've been getting pretty lucky so far in the first half of 2022 as far as getting guitar picks goes. So let's have a quick look at them. Hola mi amigos. Por favor subscribo. Gracias. So let's get right into this. We both have things we need to do. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of guitar picks so far this year. Let's take a look at the first one. It's from John Five. This was at a solo show he did in Roseville, California. He, of course, is the guitar player for Rob Zombie, and he used to play with Marilyn Manson. This was the first pick he threw out into the crowd, and I snatched it right out of the air. I was so happy. I wanted at least one. And this next few are from Candlebox, the same venue in Roseville, California. This was the first one that Kevin threw out after he was done playing with it and he landed by my feet. And at this show, he had a bag full of picks at the end of the set and he started just chucking them out in the audience and people were going crazy and of course I dove to the ground and picked up as many as I could. Lots of fun. Got three of the same kind. And the next one is from the legendary guitarist from the Misfits named Doyle Van Frankenstein or something like that. But he was doing a show in Sacramento and I was able to get this pick really happy about that I really wanted one of those so I'm glad it worked out this next one is from Queensryche I saw them in Oakland and Michael Wilton actually threw this out he landed by my feet I rarely catch them in the air that's hard to do but yeah it landed by me and I called dibs on it and everyone backed off and I grabbed it. And this was at that same show, uh, Judas Priest. 50 Heavy Metal Years. Their guitar player, Richie Faulkner. I think this is the one that hit me in the eyeball, but one of them hit my eye. That was kind of weird. The next two are from a band called The Midnight Devils. They were opening up for Sponge in Sacramento and they were so great. They were full of energy and the crowd loved them. And I was hanging around at the end of the show trying to get Sponge to autograph my CD and the guitar player saw me and gave me a couple picks. This one I just got recently. I saw Extreme and Cheap Trick play together. This is from Nuno Betancourt. He's one of my top five favorite guitar players of all time. I love Extreme, so I was really happy to get that one. And this one's from Pat Badger, the bass player. I'm not sure what the significance of the flags are, but whatever. I'll take it. I love it. And the next eight are all from Cheap Trick. In case you didn't know, Rick Nielsen throws a lot of guitar picks out into the crowd. He has a microphone stand with probably, and I would guess, two to four hundred guitar picks. And then during Dream Police, he goes to the side and uh, he grabs a handful of picks and throws them out into the crowd and does it again for the other side. It's so awesome. I waited around after the show was over and I asked the security guard if they could give me a couple and they did. 
and then I got my flashlight out and I on my phone and I started scanning the ground for guitar picks and I actually found a couple more that I wouldn't have found if I didn't hang around. That's a cool one. So I got eight from Cheap Trick and two from Extreme that night. So that was a good haul for me, 10 in one night. Definitely love that green one. Moving on to Sponge, one of my favorite 90s bands. It's broken because it was used, obviously. They didn't throw any out in the crowd really and uh, when their show was over I went up to their drummer and asked him if there were any guitar picks and he looked for one and gave it to me. So These next few are from Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains, of course. He was doing a solo show in Sacramento at Ace of Spades. It's a cool one. Yeah, he had a cup full of picks at the end of his show. I love it when bands throw a lot of picks out in the crowd. It's so awesome. It shows they really care about their fans. But yeah, I got all those in one night. And now it's time to get serious. I recently attended Bottle Rock Festival in Napa, and I was able to get two of these. Obviously I was hoping for more, but I will take what I can get. Such a cool design. Two of those. And one of my favorites in my collection now. A Hetfield White Fang. Always wanted one of these. Never could get one until that night. And he must have been playing it really hard because it's really uh, worn down. And that's awesome. Love it. The last four are from when I saw Metallica in Las Vegas. Of course, they started in 1981. And there's the other side, really cool. Two of those and two of the Elvis ones. Almost got into a fight trying to get these. Don't ask. Yeah, there they are. 35 in total so far in the first half of 2022. I actually have a hundred guitar picks now in my collection that I got at concerts that I went to. Some people trade them and some people buy them but and that's cool you do your own thing but I only collect ones that I've gotten myself and yeah there are a lot of ways to get them you, you can be lucky and catch one in the air or you know find one at your feet you can after the show is over, you know, the people who work for the band, you can ask them nicely if they have any picks, you know, and sometimes security guards will do it, but it's rare. But yeah, those are some of the ways I've gotten these. And I've got about 10 seconds left in this video. So if you have any guitar picks, let me know. I plan on getting a lot more this year. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.